Welcome back to P1. Today we are looking at quadratic simultaneous equations. Okay, now this is usually one quadratic equation and one linear equation. And to solve these, we have only one option. We need to use substitution method. So let's look at our first example. When I'm looking here, what I can see is this is a linear equation and this is a quadratic one because instead of like an x squared you've got an x times a y okay because that multiplication of the unknowns there is the same as a quadratic equation so like the previous ones start with labeling both equations and then what I always need to do is I need to rearrange my linear equation so rearranging one and I can do it either x equals or y equals it makes no difference and then substitute this into two so we're substituting x equals 11 minus y into equation two so 11 minus y times y equals 30. Expand my brackets gives me 11y minus y squared equals 30. And then it's again rearrange and solve. So looking at this one, it's going to go to two brackets, y minus 6 and y minus so y equals 6 or y equals 5. So we've got two possible solutions. Now I'm going to substitute these back into the easiest equation, which 9 times out of 10 is the linear one. In this one, it's pretty much both the same. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to sub into 1. So we get x plus 6 equals 11, sorry, and x plus 5 equals 11. So x equals 5, x equals 6. So as a pair, I've got 5, 6 as one answer, and 6, 5 as my other answer. Okay, obviously it doesn't always kind of work out this way. And then, just like we did last time on the last video, you can substitute these back into the other equation just to double check. So I can substitute both of these back into equation 2 to check. Um, but I can see straight away 5 times 6 and 6 times 5, they're both 30. Let's look at another example. Now again, you can see here's my linear equation. Here is my quadratic equation. Okay, so... labeling them I want to rearrange my first equation to make it either x equals or y equals now in this case I'm going to rearrange it for y as that makes the most sense keeping things positive and there we have it now I need to substitute that into equation 2 then we have x squared minus 1 plus 4x over 5 squared plus 5x equals 41. Okay, now this doesn't look very nice. There's a couple of ways you can approach it. I can split it up to 1 fifth plus 4 fifths and then do my expanding or I can square the top and square the bottom and then obviously expand my top okay which is the way i'm probably going to do it here so let's go x squared minus that one plus four x squared over 25 plus five x equals 41 okay so x squared minus now on the top i've got one plus 8x plus 16x squared plus 5x equals 41. 
Okay, let's put brackets in here and then multiply everything by 25. So 25x squared minus 1 plus 8x plus 16x squared plus 125x equals 1025. Let's open up that bracket. So 25x squared minus 1 minus 8x minus 16x squared plus 125x minus 1025 equals 0. So 25 take away 16 is going to give me 9x squared. 125 take away 8 is 117x. And then minus 1 and minus 1025 minus 1026 which works out nicely now as all of these will divide by 9 just gonna move this over myself a little room so if I divide everything by 9 I'm gonna get x squared plus 13x minus 114 equals 0 and this gives me minus 6 and plus 19. So x equals 6 or x equals minus 19. Now I've got my x values, I need to find my y values. So I'm going to substitute into equation 1. I'm just going to write in black so it stands out. So we've got 5y minus 4 lots of 6 equals 1. So that's 5y minus 24 equals 1, 5y equals 25y equals 5. And 5y minus 4 lots of minus 19 equals 1, sorry. <laughs> so 5y so 76 is going to be minus 75, y equals minus 15.